Hey everyone, I've ordered a propeller from IVO Propeller in Long Beach, California, and I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like because I couldn't find anything myself. So this is the box that came in. I've already opened it. I've just got it kind of folded up so you can see. Heavier than I expected, honestly. I don't know. I'm kind of aware. It feels like 20 pounds, but it's probably only 10. When you open it up, it's not exactly like this. Because like I say, I've already opened it and looked around. It's got a couple of papers in it. I'll show you those. I ordered the three blade, three blade ultralight propeller. So you can see the three blades. They've got a prop bolt going from each one from each direction. Holding them together on the hub end. Then they were separated by papers. A little more hardware. I'll show you that. I'll show you the rest here in a second. Alright, so in the in the baggie are these two plastic spacers. Um, they can be used in place of like you can remove one blade and have a two blade prop so I guess that's one of the features or quirks and features is that if you damage a blade maybe you could take your hub apart to convert it to a two blade and fly out of wherever you're at there's a total of six bolts uh, there are eight millimeter bolts I assume they're high grade bolts and six washers. These bolts are not drilled, the heads aren't drilled for safety wire. Um, the manufacturer, IVO, says you just torque them to 200 pounds, 200 inch pounds, and then um, torque them regularly, check it regularly. It comes with a jam nut or a lock nut. Uh, it comes with the I can't remember what size that is, but this goes against the hub on your gearbox. And then, this is the plate that goes on the propeller on the outside. And this, the, this is the adjustment, pitch adjustment mechanism. It's, it's a threaded, looks like maybe it's an inch. Uh, threaded with a groove in it and this groove catches a cam on the prop blades that, that adjust the pitch. I assume this is just to put a screwdriver in or something to help you adjust them. So we can take these apart, take these bolts out. Blades have riding on them, weight riding, so I'm, I'm guessing 9.9. .9, that wouldn't be ounces because that's more than a pound. Nine point nine. Nine point nine. So um, as far as like the fit and finish, they feel more plasticky than I expected. Um, This uh, leading edge tape is just a, an aluminum foil, kind of a thicker aluminum foil. It's replaceable. And then there's, I mean, they're not perfectly smooth. There's little, I don't know if you call them dings or nicks or, I wouldn't say they're perfect on the leading edges. I don't know if that's from shipping or if that's how they come out of their molds. If it's, you know, who knows what it is. Like there's a pretty good, I won't, I, you probably won't be able to see it, but right there I can feel right here on the leading edge. It's not perfectly smooth. It's got some bumps and ripples on it. This came with three papers. Uh, and I'll, I'll put screenshots up, but quick, quick ground adjustment instructions. 
and how to replace the leading edge tape stuff and an invoice. I'm not an expert. That should be obvious now if you've watched more than three minutes of one of my videos. Um, but I'll, I'll kind of show you how I think this is supposed to go together. And then my kids are going to come over and put this on this morning. So um, that cam, the cams on the end of the props, they kind of they sit kind of in this groove, and then it's the adjustment of, of this piece in and out that changes the the camber, not, not the camber but the pitch on the prop. So I'm going to go ahead and thread this in now. They tell you how far this needs to be threaded for the neutral position, and I'll I'll measure that here in a second. So I'll go ahead and lay this on the. So I'm going to do it this direction. So we're going to go like this. This is the front. And this is the front. I'm going to set it on here like so. And then uh, just, just for this, just to get me started and get us out to the airplane, I'm going to go like that. Okay, so that's sitting in the, I'm guessing that's not the neutral position. So I'm just going to turn this out. There we go. So I'll bet you, if we read the instructions, or if I when I take the measurement that the instructions provide, that's going to be pretty close to neutral. Okay. Oh, needed to put a washer on that. So that's the first blade, then the second blade, front of the blade. We're going to go like this. Again, that cam's just going to sit inside that groove on the adjuster. Let me show you this real quick, just so you can understand what I was talking about with the spacers. If you, this is this. You could use this setup for a two blade right now if I wanted to. I ordered a, at their recommendation, I ordered a 68, a 68 inch propeller. But, so, so what I have on the airplane now is a 72 inch wood propeller. I can't remember the pitch on it. 32? Seems like too much. Uh, anyways, they recommended a three blade. And I, I, well, I called and ordered a, uh, I told him I wanted a two blade, 72 inch. And, he asked me what the setup was, and he recommended the three blade 68 inch, so that's what this is. So anyways, that's how the two blade would set up. So we're going to put this in here like this. It goes together pretty easily, honestly. Um, the instructions are not, I mean, it's not as bad as like Amazon instructions, but it's, it's not perfect. What I am certain of is if I called them, they would explain it to me. I could tell just talking to him on the phone, he was willing to talk shop. 
Okay, then the third blade. Put the cam in the groove. Hold your tongue a certain way. Do this. Okay. Here we go. So the bolts are in. This front plate is sitting flush, which tells me that we're we're in a neutral position right here. This is the plate that will go against the hub on the gearbox. We'll just work that in gently. And we're ready. We're ready to take the old prop off, put the new one on, and we'll video that. So. That's about what it looks like in the neutral position there. And I, again, you turn this thing to adjust the pitch. Um, I read something somewhere that tells you what way to turn it for which, and I can't, I wasn't able to find it this morning. This jam nut is only needed for two, for one situation. And that's if you dial, if you reduce the pitch of the propeller from neutral to minus two, you have to you have to set the jam nut, torque it to 40 inch pounds, and then they tell you to wire, put some safety wire on this in this hole to keep the jam nut from spinning off, just as a safety. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I would have loved to have found a video like this before. I bought the prop, now there is one.